Well, hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're going to talk about some really fun stuff today. We're going to dig into making your online events a little bit more fun. So if you are watching me live, do the hashtag live. Or if you catch me later on in the replay, do the hashtag replay. And let me know where you're tuning in from. I am actually, let me see if I can get my microphone a little closer improve my audio. Um, I'm in the beautiful state of Michigan and fall season is definitely rolling in. You can feel it. And with fall comes Halloween and Thanksgiving and eventually Christmas and all these other fun holidays, which are a perfect time for you to be out there and promoting your business, your products, your service, and talking about everything that you do that's wonderful. So, um, I think that a lot of times we'll take some of these holidays um, or festivities or celebrations and wait till the last minute to start creating little creative pieces for it. So this is my little reminder to you right now. Um, you should be getting your act together to come up with a couple cutie little things to celebrate um, Halloween if you celebrate it. If not, you could start focusing on Thanksgiving. And this could include like your banners or things that you're doing on social media, but today what we're gonna dig into is talking about some fun things that you can do even with online live broadcast. So this is uh, one particular graphic that I ended up snagging from uh, Audioblocks, also a part of Studioblocks 
or Videoblex. You can just go to videoblex.com. Um, but it's a paid membership and you do have access to B-roll, a lot of really creative little elements that can bring a little bit of excitement to your live stream. And they even have music, sound effects, really fun but simple things that you can infuse right into your live stream. So um, I'd love to know from you, are you doing anything special for Halloween for your business? And this is the thing. I happen to be broadcasting on um, with eCam. I'm using eCam, uh, so for that it takes you know a little bit more programming and stuff like that. But even if you're using a web a web based broadcast software such as um, Be Live or Streamyard or Restream. They even have a lot of really cutesy type graphics that are built right into their software. So go, you know, go check that out. Have fun. And I mean, it can become limitless, some of the stuff that you can do. So over um, last week, I started playing around a little bit. <laughs> I was getting in touch with my inner child. And I was um, finding some of the B-roll clips that they had on audio box, uh, out audio blocks that were um, green screen and it allows me to do some really cool little animations so do you want do you want to see one if you want to see one give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up and I'll show you a really cool one <laughs> that I got for um, it's a skeleton so if you want to see that give me a thumbs up or drop in the comments give me a skeleton um, so you know, even if you do, like this is one that I just showed you a minute ago. It's a video. I just have it on like a little loop. But this could be cool for your countdown timer, you know, right before you go live. Or to just post a little video that says, Happy Halloween or, you know, Spooky Trails to you. Um, but to have just a little bit of fun is key. So, um, okay, so here's another one I'm going to show you. Like if you want to do like effects. Let me try that again. Let's try that again. Hold on one second. Are you ready? Here we go. You gotta work on my timing. <laughs> you can start throwing fireballs and all sorts of stuff. So on audio blocks, they do have, I'm gonna show you um, my screen here. They do um, so many, let me get this out of here one second and lift this up. Uh, they have so many options that you can pick from to really infuse a little bit of fun into your next thing. Okay, here we go, let me show you. So for instance, on here, I just went into um, Logged On and they have a combination of video, audio, images, a whole bunch of, so many things, so, a whole bunch of coolness right in it. Um, so but for Halloween, if you just typed Halloween, and then it'll come up with some of the options that they have on this one. Hold on one second. I went to audio for that one. So let's go to Halloween for video. And they have so many different things that you can pick from that are already there. And all you have to do is download it, plug it in. Uh, so this has been a really helpful resource for me, um, especially when I do editing for videos. I mean, I won't do that, the Halloween stuff. Uh, but sometimes if you have lengthy interviews or something that needs imagery to go along with, you know, maybe a topic that's a little bit more intense and they need, you know, graphics or images to explain, you know, what they're talking about, you can find a lot of that there. But taking the time to get into, um, let's see if we can get it right this time, wrong hand, <laughs> and that's why you got to practice before you go live. Wrong hand. Um, but the thing is, is when you are going live by infusing graphics, images, video, audio, even little sound clips, it becomes simple little things that can make your um, user or viewer experience a little bit more interesting, you know? So, you know, even like little whatever. So right now, perfect time to be digging in for some Halloween ideas. And you could even do some stuff in your backdrop or look around your house. Um, if you have kids, see if they have, you know, costume, dress up sort of stuff that you can use for that day of. 
and just have a little bit of fun. Uh, but I think the big thing is um, before going and acquiring more software or more things, look and see what you have available to you. For instance, I'm going to show you one other thing that actually is free is if you set up a Canva account. Let me go over here really quick. If you set up a Canva account, they have a ton of different um, Halloween type templates and artwork that you can use. So, you know, even having some stuff like that can bring a little bit of excitement to your next live stream. And we are actually, in case you haven't caught the, the notice, um, we are gearing up for our next challenge. I'm super excited about this. Um, it is going to be October 25th through the 29th. It's the five day event queen challenge. And when I say queen, we're talking queen like chess strategy. I'm going to be sharing some tips, insights, hacks, and all sorts of little golden nuggets that can help you propel with your next event. Now, the thing is, is events really are in essence, you know, a glue to everything that we have going on in life from our personal life to our professional life. And with the state of everything that's going on right now, whether you're planning an in-person event or it's, you know, you're strictly doing digital, um, it's important to make sure that you have people that are engaged, that you have a backup plan, even if it's virtual, that you have a backup plan to the virtual plan. I'm going to show you different things like that, but more importantly, I'm also going to show you ways that you can utilize events to help you increase sales, increase engagement, and create a really positive experience. So it's possible for you to have one day where you can make five figures in a day. I've actually done it, but you have to, you have, to have a game plan. You have to have the right systems and tools in place so that you can propel. And I'm going to load down all sorts of golden nuggets for you. All you have to do is go over to www.eventqueenchallenge.com and you can register to get into the challenge. It's absolutely free. You have the option if you do want to upgrade for VIP for some extra bonus things, but it's free. And the cool thing is, is when we're done with this, you're going to have it, you're literally going to walk away with a game plan to be able to implement an event right away. So it's not just going to be fluff. This is actually going to be hands-on. We're going to do things in a, in a way that is bite-sized nuggets for you to be able to overcome some roadblocks that you're having, maybe some things that are holding you back. Uh, maybe you have some fear on technology or you have fear over, you know, how to launch it how to, you know, how to, how to, how to. But too often we get caught up into the fear of how, the word how. And I think that that's something that if we can learn to eliminate how and just get into the willingness to take the first step and try something new, that's when you can reach these unexpected heights with your, your business. And right now is a perfect time to be scaling your business online. There's more videos that are being produced and there's a reason why, because it does help resonate and connect with people. And virtual event gives you not just a video, but so many other things that go into it that can help you create that connection, increase sales, increase customer satisfaction. Sometimes your event may not even be about, you know, an end sale, that moment. It could be, about informing your your market or your base about conveying messages that need more than just you know a quick email or something so learning to strategically look at your events for a long haul can create opportunity that can become very um, advantageous for you and for your business so I hope that you do come join us that is October 25th through the 29th, and it's going to be a ton of fun. So make sure that you come hang out. Uh, but in the meantime, I think there was, oh, there was one more thing. 
Nobody gave me a thumbs up, but I'm going to put it out here just under the pretense that, um, let's see here, under the pretense that I will get a thumbs up later and I'm going to show you, missed it again, <laughs> missed it again. Um, I'm going to show you my little buddy, Bob the Skeleton. And Bob happens to like to dance. <laughs> Either that or he's playing baseball. So these are little things that can become really fun though and a great way to break up your live stream and some really unexpected but simple, <laughs> simple ways. So yeah, go check out audio blocks and make sure that you are taking, get off my face, Bob. Get off my face, Bob. All right, so in the meantime though, I'm wishing you so much fun with all of the planning that you put in for all of these holidays that are coming up. It is so exciting because, you know, it gives you a chance to really display your business in a really unique, exciting way. So that's all I got for you today. So I hope to see you at that workshop. And in the meantime, you guys take good care of yourself. Bye.